finally came. Mew Mew, you wanna come up? You guys see this? Whoa. It's a box within a box. Mew Mew, where have you been? I've been calling you for like an hour. Yo. Yo. I'm so excited. Check it out. All right, let's crack this bad boy open. Whoa. Dude, it's so cute. Okay. Here we go. Laser engraving machine. Okay, first off, the design of this is beautiful. Really, genuinely, this is a beautiful device. I'm assuming this is a handle. I see a little power button right here. It is unplugged, so we're good. Obviously, this is the dust box, obviously. I don't know what that means. Woo, more things. Tools and accessories. So usually with laser engravers, you have to wear these like really cool, like hardcore glasses, but I think that's what these are for. They kind of take care of that for you. Time to open up this box. It looks like it's a bunch of sample surfaces that you can practice engraving on, like wood, maybe a piece of acrylic or something. I see some like balsa wood, some cardboard or fiber board, and there's quite a lot of them. Some really thick like fiber paper. Leather? I, I don't know what this is. I think it's leather. This looks like sticker paper and some shiny black like business cards or just cards. Those and accessories. We have a paintbrush, some wires, some dog keychains, a marker, a USB stick, basically everything that we would need and a computer cable, like a USB-C cable. Okay, what are you doing there, buddy? What is it with cats and boxes? I will never understand. Hey, Jelly Bean, what are you doing in there, buddy? <gasps> Hi. <laughs> This thing is nice. This is the front. You can tell because of the logo. One of the sides. Love the design. This is the back. This is the side. TBD what this is. Here's an exhaust port. They have this one really cool option. It's an air purifier that you can hook up to this and not bragging. They totally send us one. Look at this thing. Amazing. Woo, I'm so excited. It's like Christmas. A purifier. That, my friends, is a powerful laser. We're just getting it dialed in now. Flip the switch down. Make sure it's nice and level until it's touching. Right, like so. Move it back up. Give it a position. It's as easy as that. This thing is amazing. Close it up. This is so cool, you guys. My little buddy, my little helper, he's giving up. He's taking a little quick nap. I have used the Wayne Lux engraver and printed, I think, 11 of these so far. I think I have four more to go for the X-Wing. So excited. All right, this X-Wing calls for dowels, and I have a lathe, so instead of buying them, I'm just gonna make them. Three, two, one, woo! Mm -hmm. And just put this tiny piece right here so it doesn't find focus. Awesome. And just put this piece here. Well, guys, that took forever. We got these little guys here. Four. And then we have these guys right here. Woo! So far, the really the only downside of this thing is the size. That's it. It's it got a small footprint, but that's actually a good thing, right? It can fit on your desk. And I wanted to see initially if this would be a big limit, but it's really not. For example, I can just take bigger pieces, you know, because that way exceeds the size and I can just blew it up and it totally works. Look at this. You can't even tell. It looks cool. I don't know if, if the camera's going to pick up on this, but look at the precision. We have like a gajillion of these teeny tiny little pieces. Oh good, it's my face. Hold on, let me get my face out of the camera. Okay, yep. Perfect. There it is. Nice. Look at that. It's so precise. All right, this is with all the pieces added. And again, I don't think you can see it because my face is in the way, so hold on. I'm gonna come over here and then let's see if it'll find focus. Oh good, Strider's literally there. <laughs> hey, move your head out of the way. Can you see it? Same, I'm trying to find the focus. It finds you. <laughs> Dude. You you leave and it instantly goes into focus. Thanks for nothing, babe. You wanna go? Oh, I still can't get it. Okay, you're just gonna have to use your mental like okay, it just looks really cool. Okay. All right, I've changed the camera, and now this is so much easier to show you guys. This is what one of the lasers is gonna look like. We have a piece <laughs> that we need to cut. 
Oh my god. You needed something with that, right? I forgot we wait, have the wait, world's wait, wait, wait. smallest Meyer saw. <laughs> Dude, look at it. It's so cute. You, wait till you cut it. Babe, I'm scared of it though. Isn't that funny? I have a massive, like, huge, dangerous one, and I'm like kind of scared of this one. It's got a little safety mechanism. It's so cute. <laughs> Hey, that's actually very helpful. <sighs> Guys, for no reason should, my wife should have never bought this thing. Like, <laughs> why Why did you buy this thing? Guys, we have a full-size professional one in the garage. However- Let me use them back then. Oh yeah, that is true. However, now that we have it, I am absolutely gonna use it. I cannot believe that it looks this cool. And it all came from that machine, which is much smaller than this thing, but it doesn't matter. Dude, I am so stoked on this thing. Also, can I just show you guys my new addition? Check this out, this is the front, little Lego guy. And there's a little Easter egg, check this out, and BB-8 in there. Somewhere, there he is, you can see him. Yo, it's finished. Laser engraved body made from balsa wood. And then we have engines that are made from walnut, and then we have these shooter gun thingamajigs. I'm sure they have a name, but I can't remember what they're called. <laughs> but that is paduk, which is an African wood. And then we have purple heart, and it is amazing. Little Lego dude in there, little Easter egg BB-8 in there. There's a spot for an R2-D2, but I do not have one, which is devastating. But that's okay. I am so stoked on this thing. So this is called Cut Lab X, and it's the software that comes with this laser engraver. You can connect to the laser engraver with USB or Wi Fi. I have it set up on my kitchen dining room table, so I am going to do Wi Fi for now. I click on camera up here. This is the piece of wood that I just put in there, right? And then from there, I can go <laughs> and I can just put whatever I want. It's amazing. Hello. One triangle like this, maybe a face on accident. Hello, we'll make a little man. Got some Ziggy Stardust thing happening on accident. Wow, that is horrifying. So we just drew this thing and it's on the sheet of wood that we just put in there, dirt. Okay, so right now it's running. I can hear it going off in the other room. I really need to clean my monitor. How about instead of going over there, can I just press like update picture? Bro, so I just took another picture and you can totally see where I engraved it. Dude, my Ziggy Stardust guy. I just wanted to see what the engraving portion would be like, what the capabilities are. Holy guacamole, that is absolutely amazing. Wow. Disregard this part. This is a test piece. That is from <laughs> this. It didn't take that long either. Babe, what are you doing? I don't care. Look at this. Oh, wow. Isn't that beautiful? That's so good. Thanks, I made this. That's and by that, so good. I know, dude. Isn't it super cool? It, it really is. I love all the little, like, Shades. Guys, if you want to grab one of these for yourself, it's surprisingly affordable and it literally like just came out. Like just came out like either today or in the next couple days. It's going to be very, very, very soon. You should definitely grab it. All right guys, hope you enjoyed it. I'm out.